What is up ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, this is Jeff Benjamin. I'm going to show you how to jailbreak iOS 9 on your Mac using a virtual machine. Now, the first thing you want to do, and you'll find all the links in the description, is to download Windows 10. Now, you want to find the ISO file here on this page. You want to select Windows 10, 10 and then click confirm. And then once you do that, you want to select your, your language, in this case English, and then click confirm. And then you want to download this 64-bit uh, Windows 10 ISO file. So you just click 64 bit. It'll start downloading. That's going to take a while to download depending on your, your uh, internet connection. Then you want to go over to the VMware Fusion link and click download now and that'll download VMware Fusion 8. Again, that's going to take a while depending on how long or how fast your internet connection is. I have both files here on my desktop. You want to put them on your desktop. First of all, you want to configure, install and configure that is VMware Fusion. So just double click on the DMG file, double click where it says double click and then click open and then you want to put in your administrator password and then click OK. It's going to install VMware Fusion. This is pretty simple uh, stuff here. Now you want to select I want to try VMware Fusion for 30 days. Click continue. Put in a bogus email address because you don't want them spamming you. Click continue. Put a your password back in. Click OK. And then you want to select install from disk or image. Now I've selected this. I already had the ISO file there. So I'm just going to clear recent items and then I'll show you what happens when you have never done that before. So what you do is basically drag the ISO file from your desktop directly into that little box and then click continue. Now here, make sure you have use easy install enabled, select windows 10 home from this drop down list. Don't put in a product key or anything. Click continue. And once you do, just say continue without a key, choose more isolated, continue, and then click customize settings and then click save. Now it's going to bring up this little box here. You want to go to processors and memory. You want to give it a little bit more memory than the default if you can afford it. I'm going to give it about four gigs of memory like that. So somewhere around that ballpark is good. And then processor cores, give it as much as you can give it at least four processor cores if you can, and then click show all, or you can just click the little X button and then click the uh, play button to start the installation. So that's pretty much all there is to it. So I'm going to play some music now because there's really not much else in this section to talk about, but this is real time. I'm not going to speed up anything. I want, to, want you to see the entire installation process from start to finish, no speeding up at all. So enjoy.
part of this setup tutorial when you get this little message here you want to click yes for networks and it'll take a second and then you want to click do not show again and uh, I think we're ready to launch Internet Explorer so we want to do that and then this little in this little box you want to type in iTunes.com that'll take you to Apple's website to download iTunes so you want to click download scroll down there and then click download now and you're going to see the download begin and that's going to save to your downloads folder by default. Now you want to open up a new tab. So just click this little tab button and we're going to go to idownloadblog.com. And everything's a little slow and a little sluggish right now because I, I don't know if there's like indexing going on because this is a new installation. So just kind of bear with it. Um, once the, the virtual machine is running for a while, I find that it's much faster, but initially it seems a little slow. So just keep that in mind. There's a little lag there. Um, so you want to go to iDownloadBlog's website slash download. There you're going to find tons of downloads for all sorts of things, but most importantly, we want the download for the Pongu tool for iOS 9. Um, so that's what we want right now. So I'm going to just scroll down here and there we go. So there's the download Pongu for iOS 9. Just click Windows there. It's version 1.0 in this case. And the download for that is started. So we have two simultaneous downloads, one for Pongu and one for iTunes. Uh, the downloads are going to be stored in the uh, downloads folder. So the iTunes is already done. So we just opened up the downloads folder, double click on iTunes, click run and click next and then click next and then yes so this process is going to take a little while as well the installation for itunes so let's play some more jams Alright, so we're finished. We just want to click on finish and then click agree. And once you click agree, then iTunes should launch there. You can just click no thanks if you want to or agree, whatever. Um, and now it's time to actually connect your iPhone to your Mac. Uh, that's what I'm doing now. And you heard the little connection tune. And then you're going to see this trust this computer. You want to click continue on the on iTunes and then click trust or tap trust on your iPhone. And then iTunes is going to connect to your iPhone. You just want to make sure that iTunes sees your iPhone. That's the most important step with this in this regard. You want to make sure iTunes sees your iPhone because otherwise, yeah, there's just no point in continuing if it doesn't see your iPhone. All right, so it does see the iPhone there. You can see it in the upper left-hand corner. We can close out of iTunes now. We've confirmed that. iTunes gives you all the drivers and everything necessary to actually uh, connect to your iPhone and run the Pongu jailbreak. So now we want to double click on the Pongu tool and then click on uh, run. And then we should see this where it recognizes your connected device. Obviously, you're connected via USB from your iPhone. And, and now we are ready to begin. So click start. Now it's going to ask you some questions like if you've backed up your device. Hopefully you have. If you placed your device in airplane mode, which it's going to ask you to do. So you should do that. 
Um, you also want to go ahead and make sure that you have find my iPhone disabled. So you can go to settings iCloud for that. I've completely signed out of iCloud. So obviously find my iPhone is disabled, but you can disable it individually if you want to. You also want to disable the touch ID and passcode options as well. Now let's click already back up and then the jailbreaking process will begin. And uh, yeah, so this is, we're in a home stretch right here. Uh, and again, all this will take less than 20 minutes from start to finish, which is pretty impressive considering we don't have a Windows machine anywhere in the vicinity. Um, so it is doing its thing there. You see the Pongu icon on the home screen. We're 45% through. Restore in progress. 55%. We're almost there, folks. Now, if you watch the other tutorial uh, uh, for Windows, you know sort of what's involved with this jailbreak. It's a little different than jailbreaks of old. Um, so we're gonna, it's going to ask you to do a couple of things here uh, that are pretty unique. So we'll give it a second. Now it's going to ask you to unlock your device and enable airplane mode again. So that's what we're going to do as soon as the device comes up. We can actually close out of iTunes if it pops up there. So now we're just going to unlock, come on iTunes, cooperate. Unlock your device and then swipe up to open control center, tap the airplane mode icon, and then it's gonna continue. Now it's injecting one of two, two of two, preparing the environment, 70%, almost there folks, still under 20 minutes. Now please unlock the device, it's already unlocked, but tap on the Pongu icon, so that's what we're gonna do now. And then read the little warning, tap the accept button, tap OK. And we are literally in the home stretch now. So 85% uploading jailbreak resources. We're almost there. 85% still. 90%. Jailbreaking, please wait. <laughs> almost. 98%, final cleanup. 100%, jailbreak completed. Jailbreak completed, rather. <laughs> Got a little excited there. All right, so jailbreak is done. We are done with Windows. Um, now it's asking you to connect your device again because it just thinks it's starting over, but ignore that. Uh, but now we have our jailbroken iPhone 6 Plus here. And it works with the 6S as well, the iPhone 6S Plus, the iPhone 5S, any device that's um, that can run iOS 9, you can jailbreak. We can close all this out. So now we're going to unlock our device, and we should see Cydia. There it is, ladies and gentlemen. So now all you need to do is just open up Cydia. It'll do its thing, and we're good to go. So, folks, that is how you jailbreak. Also, turn off airplane mode, by the way. <laughs> that is how you jailbreak on a Mac using a Windows virtual machine. I use VMware Fusion. It's all free. Uh, you get the 30-day trial. Sorry, I'll get tongue-tied. Get the 30-day trial. You get the Windows ISO download. All that for free. If you just need to jailbreak your device, do that really quick. Uninstall everything, free up your space, whatever, and you can have your jailbreak regardless if you have a Windows box or not. So ladies and gentlemen, let me know what you think down below in the comments section. And if you appreciated this, leave me a thumbs up. This is Jeff with iDownload Blog.